Hey everybody, this is DM Mike with your next soundtrack recommendation for your fantasy campaign. Now today we're looking at Batman Arkham Origins by Christopher Drake, released in 2013 and has a whopping 32 tracks. And yes, you can pull quite a bit of wonderful music from this album that would fit all kinds of scenarios. Now to be honest, it does break one of my rules about using highly recognizable soundtracks in a D&D session, but to quote a famous pirate, The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. Now there are four major Batman video game soundtracks, and out of all of them, this is the one I think feels the most versatile for your campaign. I would just avoid the other three because those would just be a dead giveaway as to what they came from, but Arkham Origins doesn't necessarily screen Batman in every single track, and I think most players won't even know where it came from. But you know, don't be surprised if you see one of your players giving you a puzzled look as they try to figure out just where they heard this music from. Now you can find this album on Amazon for $9.99 for the physical copy and about $9.49 for the digital. Personally, I'd opt for the CD because the price difference here is rather pathetic. You can also find it on iTunes for $9.99 as well. So again, I think the physical copy really is the winner here. So let's get to it and highlight a few tracks. First up as always is the battle tracks. Here you get six, all of which are fairly good length running just over two minutes. Track 10, Deathstroke, is around four minutes long, while track 25, Firefly, has six minutes of material. Now when you're playing these battle tracks, keep in mind they can get rather loud. I feel as if Christopher Drake opted to make his music similar in tone to Elliot Goldenthal's in the Batman film scores, which, if you know anything about Elliot Goldenthal, his compositions, though great, often are incredibly loud, boisterous, and have the potential to blow out an eardrum if you're listening via headphones. Now you won't have that problem here, but just keep in mind some of these tracks do hit some high notes. If you're trying to squeeze in some darker cliffhanger moments or quick scenes of tension or dread, these tracks could work perfectly. Especially track number 9, which I use for the introduction of a new enemy in one of my recent Horde of the Dragon Queen radio dramas. Here's a quick sample of it. it runs about a minute and 30 seconds. You're welcome to skip it, of course, but it does show how I used the music in context for the appearance of the drow assassin, Jevin, who was dispatched by the Red Wizards to hunt down one of the party members and kill them. Let's go ahead and play it real fast. And the enemy has surely begun the interrogation process. We will dispatch the drow to assassinate her before she reveals anything further. It is unfortunate, but it's faster to kill her than attempt a rescue. Jevin, step forward. From the shadows, a dark elf emerges, dressed in black leather, and two long silver daggers hanging at his side. He approaches, then kneels, his long black leather cloak draping him in the colors of night. You have heard the report. I have, Lord. Fulam's fate has been sealed. To ensure success, you will not go alone, however. Can you handle our brood of Dreyfer? And as will follow my orders. My lord, if I may, how do you intend to find her? The Dreyfer are not trackers. We have contingencies in place for such events. The initiation rituals make sure that no one walks away from the cult. Whether they try to desert or are captured. Within the hour, we will know. The wizard turns towards the cauldron as his eyes steadily glow red a ghoulish light emitting from the watery surface. For now, let us awaken the driver. For they have work to do. His magic grows intensely, shining brightly within the room, casting wicked shadows across the walls as his servants glance towards the cauldron in awe of his power. So there you can see I used that cliffhanger piece to give a nice brooding entrance to one of my new NPCs, who by the way wasn't successful in killing his target, uh, but he managed to stay alive throughout the whole adventure. I have a feeling this guy will be returning. If you want to hear the entire piece, you can find it on my SoundCloud and the Horde of the Dragon Queen playlist. The track is entitled Of Ice and Flesh, and there should be a link in the description below. One last track I'd like to highlight is number 17, which is absolutely perfect for when your players are having a nightmarish, sinister, and devilish hallucination. I used this track for one of the Adventure League modules back when Out of the Abyss launched, and there was a small five-part adventure module you could play at the shops to lead up to the book. One of the adventures had the players spellbound by a mischievous fairy dragon who was casting hallucination spells at them. Well, I decided to use this track while describing some very gruesome and terrifying things that were suddenly happening. 
And boy, it was a blast. Give it a listen, you'll know exactly what I mean. It is some pretty intense stuff. So that's all I got for you folks at Batman Arkham Origins. It is the soundtrack I would recommend out of all the other Batman ones. You kind of want to avoid them because they'll just sound like, you know, too much of Batman. But this one's perfect. Uh, it'll help you in those intense moments, the frightening moments, and combat. It's just a great all-around piece. So that wraps it up this week. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one with another album recommendation. Till then.